What's up, everybody? This is AJ from AlphaPixel.net here bringing you a little quick tip in Cinema 4D on how to mask objects. Now, this is an update to a previous tutorial I did, and with the added bonus that this time I'll show you how to invert the mask, which was actually a comment on the previous tutorial by one of my followers. So, it's a super useful little technique, and it's really quick to set up. So, let's just get right into it. So here we have a cube object, and let's say this is the object we want to mask out. So then we're going to need an ob a mask object, and it can be any object with a surface. So let's grab a plane object here and set it up in the Z. And we really don't need any segments. So now we're going to make a material, and we're only going to add check on transparency. So it's completely completely invisible. So we'll add that to our mask object. And of course when we render, everything's fine. But now when we go into the cube object, the object we want to mask out, add a compositing tag, and uncheck seen by transparency. Any transparency that is in front of the object will hide the object. So when I hit render, you'll see that Wherever the plane was, it has cut the cube out. And just to prove to you that it's not just a black object on top of it, we can just add in a figure here in the back. Let's turn him towards the camera. So when I hit render, you are actually seeing him behind the cube. So let's just move our plane real quick and try that again. It's chopping off that part of the cube. And as we peek around, we can see more and more of it. Now, how do we invert that? Let's just say we want to see only what is behind the plane. And this tip came from a follower of mine who was asking in the comments, and he actually solved it before I even got to it. But in the compositing tag, all we have to do is flop scene by camera and scene by transparency. So turn off scene by camera, turn on scene by transparency, and there you go. Anything behind our mask is visible, and anything in front of it is invisible. Really cool little trick. So thanks for that, and I don't even know how to say his name. It was a, His name was written in Russian, and I apologize, I don't know quite how to say it. <laughs> now just for fun, I made a quick little mask... Uh, setup that makes it look more like the mask from After Effects. So it has a couple little controls in it. So this is where you drop your mask object. So if it's the plane, we're going to drop the plane in there and it gives you the little mask handles. And let's go ahead and convert this to a polygon object. And now you can move it around just like uh, mask in After Effects. And you can check you can check if you want it visible in the viewport or not. Just a fun little thing I'll include with the scene file. You can go ahead and change your mask color if you want to. As always, thanks for tuning in, and we will catch you guys in the next tutorial.